A Lancaster man came from the dead, came back from the dead, thanks to technology. He went into full cardiac arrest, but his heart was shocked back into rhythm by something he was wearing. Eight on your side medical reporter Susan Shapiro has more on the life vest. Harold Barkheimer rolls the dice on one of the simple games he's created. This one simulates baseball. Oh, that's a home run there. The 78-year-old has also had some good luck recently in the game of life. Barkheimer was in Lancaster General Hospital in January after suffering a significant heart attack. He was on the mend after undergoing angioplasty and having a stent put in. He was set to be released when he went into sudden cardiac arrest. An abnormal heart rhythm only about 5% of people survive. I don't have much recollection of what happened to me, actually, because I just blanked out. It has a pad in the front and uh, two pads in the back. And they're Lucky for Barkheimer, he had on this wearable defibrillator known as a life vest. His doctor, Tatiana Slopich, prescribed the device until they could determine whether he needed an implanted defibrillator. And in case of a deadly rhythm, uh, it detects it within a few seconds and uh, delivers therapy. Therapy being? Shock. And will that automatically bring someone back into a normal rhythm? Yes, with 98% success rate and time to defibrillation is minimal. Patients also wear this monitor 24-7. If their heart goes into an abnormal rhythm, that's what they hear. If they're conscious and alert, they just press these response buttons. Has been delayed. Bystanders do not interfere. And the vest won't shock their heart. A member of Barkheimer's family was in the room when he collapsed and she ran for help. By the time doctors and nurses returned, he was up and talking. It was quite amazing and he's a great guy and happened to a great guy and a great family. It's almost like a half a baseball, you know, but it's, they say it'll, come, it'll go down. Barkheimer now has an implanted defibrillator that was put in before he left the hospital. He's grateful for the life vest that brought him back from death. I'm glad for it, because I wouldn't be here now if it weren't for that. Susan Shapiro on your side, News 8. Now, doctors are prescribing the life vest more often, and insurance coverage for it has improved. That's really interesting.